Hello fellow yogis and welcome to your practice for tight shoulders. I'm very grateful to be guiding you through your flow today. My name is B Sherlock. Often we can feel like we're holding the weight of the world on our shoulders alone. Very common when you're trying to do everything and be everything to everyone. Sometimes this could also be related to holding on to some form of judgment, whether it be judgment toward yourself or someone else, or maybe you haven't found that nudge to forgive. These can be contributing factors to tight shoulders or discomfort in the neck. Often we need to create the time to be able to just meet ourselves. And that's what this practice is intended for. Give you some well-deserved me time, release some tension in the shoulders and the upper back, create some space for you to feel open enough to express yourself more freely. We'll open the throat, the heart and invite your truth and creativity to flow freely. Let's meet on the mat. Let's take a little brief moment to connect our breath to the heart. So just have one hand resting on the thigh or the knee and bring one hand to the chest. Close down the eyes. Just equal inhale to equal exhale as you Breathe in to the base of the spine and allow the breath to open the belly, open the chest and the collarbone. Exhale, notice as the shoulders fall away from the ears. Navel draws to spine. Equal inhale to equal exhale. Just taking a moment to notice the breath. The cooling inhale through the nostrils, the warming exhale through the nostrils. Notice the expansion of the body and the chest and the heart on the inhale. And the release of the muscles on the exhale. Release the breath, allow it to return to its natural rhythm and just observe the body very briefly. Maybe your attention is being drawn away from the body towards the sounds of the beautiful birds in this natural conservation area. It's okay. Just bring the breath, bring the awareness back to the breath. You can gently flutter the eyelids open now. I'm just going to go into some short little neck rolls. So inhale, extend the left arm up and above. Just place the left hand toward the left, the right ear, and gently draw the left ear toward the shoulder. Just breathing into that side neck. Hmm. Inhale, gently come back to center. I'm going to get you to turn your head toward your left shoulder and just come bring it back just a little bit. So the gaze is out toward where the left knee is. If you're sitting with your legs crossed from here, Gently lower the head, bring the palm to the back of the head and just gently draw the chin toward the chest. So you'll feel it through the side of the neck at the back. Inhale, come back to center. Inhale, sweep the arms, One, sorry, the right arm overhead. Bring the right palm to the left ear and draw the right ear towards the shoulder. Just breathing through that side neck. Good, 
gently release. Bring the gaze over towards the right, just in the direction of the right knee. Gently lower the chin towards the chest and for a gentle assist, place the right hand, the base of the head to draw the chin a little closer to the chest and you'll feel it through the back side of the neck. Inhale, come back to center. Interlace the fingers now, draw the elbows toward each other and just place the chin on top of the fists. So as you inhale, find length through the spine, you'll notice the fists and the elbows gently push the chin back. Just breathing into the throat. We don't often spend a lot of time in this position, particularly it was as well, most of us are at desks and a lot of us spend a lot of time on our phones. So the neck is going in the opposite direction, which is quite unnatural for our spine. One more full breath here. Inhale, gently release. Good. Just gently draw the chin toward the chest. So we're coming directly down now. You can bring the backs of the palms to the head to give yourself a gentle assist and deepen into that little stretch through the neck. And gently release, coming back to center. Roll over the knees, come to all fours. We'll do a few cat cows. Shoulders are over the wrists, hips are over the knees. Inhale, lower the belly, lift the chest. Lift the chin. Exhale, tuck the tail toward the earth, arch the spine, draw the chin toward the chest. Inhale, lower the belly. Lift the chin, it's breathing into the back. Exhale, round the spine, come into cat. Inhale, last time. Exhale. Beautiful. Gently walk the hands toward the top of the mat. Bring the left arm underneath the, sorry, the right arm. <laughs> walk the hands gently towards the top of the mat. Bring the right arm underneath the left and just bring the shoulder towards the mat option here to walk the left arm out to the top of the mat or maybe you want to tent the fingers and open the chest we come into a little twist but we're still breathing into the right shoulder and if we're doing the little twist we're opening up through the through the left shoulder to opening the heart If you're in the twist, gently untwist. Press into the left palm. Bring the right palm down. Sweep the left arm underneath the right. Bring the left shoulder towards the mat. Extend the right arm out to the top if that's the option you'd like to take. Or you can tent the right fingers and open the right shoulder toward the sky. So breathing into the left deltoid and the left shoulder. Opening up through the right shoulder, breathing into the twist. Inhale, press into the right palm. Come to all fours. Hips remain squared. 90 degree angle, gently walk the hands out to the front, we'll come into puppy pose. Lower the chest to the floor, bring the forehead to the floor. And allow the heart to melt into the mat. If you're in a slightly more open body, perhaps you're bringing the chin to the floor, so your gaze is toward the top of the mat.
Gently walk the hands back underneath the chest. Wave the body forward. Lower the whole body towards the mat. Come to the forearms. Elbows are underneath the shoulders. Spread the fingertips wide. Gently press the forearms and the palms into the mat and draw the mat toward the torso. Lift the chin, lift the chest. So we're coming into Sphinx. Inhale, find length through the spine as you lift up and out of the lower spine. Exhale, navel draws to spine, chin is up, jawline is back. Good. Gently now, you can bring the right arm behind the left. It's going to be a little bit of a tricky twist. And bring the left arm in front of the right. I'm sorry if the microphone is doing weird things. I'm just extending the arms out to the opposite sides and you can gently bring and release the head and neck. So you'll feel a nice stretch through the upper back. Push into the elbows, come back to centre. Bring the right, left arm behind the right. Extend the arms out to either side of the mat. Gently release the head and neck. Finding a nice stretch through the upper back. Using the breath to breathe through any discomfort. Press into the elbows. Bring the palms underneath the shoulders. Lift the hips, bring them back to the heels. Come back into child's pose. Notice as the exhale softens the hips towards the heels. Maybe you reach a little closer toward the top of the mat so we're finding that real elongation from the spine, from the low spine through to the fingertips. Beautiful. Rise up to all fours, tuck the toes, sweep the tail to the sky, downward facing dog. Inhale, breath rises from the seat along the back body into the collarbone. Exhale, navel draws to spine. Lift the hips up and back. Draw the heels toward the mat. It doesn't matter if they're touching. It doesn't matter if they're not touching, I should say. We're just drawing the chest toward the thighs, micro bending the knees, just to feel the nice elongation at the level of the bones through the legs, the hips, the back, the arms. Inhale, gaze to the top of the mat, gently walk the feet between the hands. Allow the head and neck to hang. Just have a little bit of a rag doll here. So grasp hold of opposite elbows. Just gently sway from side to side, but try and keep the hips in one space. Just here for a couple of rotations, not very long. Inhale, release the hands. Sweep the arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, draw the hands to heart center, Samastiti. Lower the hands, inhale, sweep the arms overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, hinge at the hips, fold forward. Interlace the hands behind the back. Allow the hands to fall to the top of the mat. Just opening up through the shoulders, through the chest. Use your breath. Recognize any areas of discomfort, not just 
in the body, but also in the mind. Ask yourself, are your thoughts creating the discomfort? And if they are, what can you let go of? What can you allow? Always using the breath. Creating the space. Exhale, softens the body. Beautiful, gently release the hands. Inhale, hands to shins, find a nice flat back. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Plant the hands, step back, downward facing dog. Do it just briefly. Inhale, lower the knees. Sweep the hips to one side. Extend the legs out long. And just come into staff pose. So we're opening up through the chest. Legs are engaged. Feet are flexed. Palms are on the mat. And if, you're in, if you've got slightly shorter arms, maybe they're on a block. Maybe your hands are on a fingertips. We're just drawing open the chest, lifting the chin. Two more breaths. Beautiful. Bring the right sole of the right foot to the outside of the left knee. If you can, we're going to stack the knees and just draw the heels toward the side body. So we're just drawing the heels toward the side buttocks. Coming into a seated Gomakasana. Inhale, sweep the arms out. Exhale, bring the right hand, the right elbow underneath the left. Interlace the wrists, bring the palms to meet. Lift the elbows, draw the thumbs away from the face. Eagle arms. Inhale, find the length through the spine. Exhale, navel draws to spine. Feeling a nice opening through the back of the heart. And gently release from the twist. Switch the legs, so stacking the left knee over the top of the right this time. Again, just drawing the heels toward the side glutes. Squaring off the hips and making sure that both hips are grounded. So you feel a nice opening through the hips here as well as the shoulders. Inhale, sweep the arms out. Exhale, bring the left arm underneath the right, interlace the wrists, bring the palms to meet. Lift the shoulders, draw the thumbs away from the face. Maybe you close down the eyes, or maybe you find a drishti, a focus point in front. Inhale. Create space throughout the body, throughout the back of the heart. Exhale. Notice as the body softens, maybe you deepen into the opening. One more full breath. Gently unravel from the twist. Unravel the legs, come to find Balasana. So we're going to bring the knees together, bring the forehead to the mat. We're also going to bring the hands beside the body. Just here very briefly, before we move our, the crown of our head to the mat, so it's almost like the forehead is touching the knees. Grasp hold of the heels. Lift the hips. Keep the, keep the crown of the head on the mat. Keep hold of the heels. Rabbit pose. You feel a nice opening through the whole back line. Back of the neck. Inhale, breath rises from the seat along the back body. Exhale, navel draws to spine. Mm. 
inhale, release the hips to the heels. You can extend the arms out toward the top of the mat or perhaps you just leave them beside the body. And just rest here very briefly in this child's pose. Gently rise out of child's pose. Bring the hips to one side. Extend the legs out in front. Draw the back to the mat. Draw the right knee toward the chest. Extend the right arm out to the side. And draw the right knee across the body using the left hand. Now come into a nice Supta Matsyandrasana. Gaze is over to the right. Shoulders remain grounded. So if you find that when you draw the right leg across the body, the right shoulder is lifting up, bring the shoulder back to meet the mat and perhaps your knee is higher than where you think it should be. So it might be up here and maybe if you're in a slightly more open body, maybe your knee's touching the ground. Just as long as that shoulder is grounded. Gently, slowly unravel from that twist. Extend the right leg out long. Draw the left leg toward the chest. Extend the left arm out to the side. Draw the left knee across the body. Using the right hand, gaze is over to the left hand. Shoulder remains grounded. Inhale, breath rises from the base of the spine, travels through the twist. Exhale, navel draws to spine. And while we're in this twist, maybe you close down the eyes and you find a little bit of stillness. Noticing the expansion of the chest on the inhale. The softening of the body on the exhale. Inhale, gently unravel from the twist. Extend the legs out long. Bring the feet to the edges of the mat and allow them to fall to the sides. Bring the hands beside the body. Palms are facing up. Gently tuck the shoulders, shoulder blades underneath the chest. Draw the chin away from the chest, allowing for the natural curve of the spine. Release any tension in the jaw. Release any tension in the brow. And just allow the body to surrender muscle by muscle into the earth. And as you begin that surrender of the muscles, scan through the body and notice any pockets of discomfort or tension. Give them permission to let go. Give them permission to release. And just surrender into the comfort and support of Mother Earth. And bring your awareness back to your breath. And recognize the cooling inflow through the nostrils. 
and the warming outflow through the nostrils. Notice as the belly and the chest rise on the inhale. And as they collapse on the exhale, the body softens. Begin to find some movement in your fingers and your toes and gently rock the head and neck from side to side. When you're ready, roll to your most comfortable side and briefly observe. Push through your free palm, come to find a comfortable seat. Eyes can remain closed. Bring the right hand to the heart and we come back to that intention. Honouring our body, honouring ourselves and taking the time to meet us where we are. Giving ourselves time to release, let go and surrender. Even for just five minutes throughout the day. Maybe if you're finding it's a little challenging or you've got a little tension, maybe it's just finding a little quiet corner and bringing the hand to the heart, closing down the eyes and just connecting the breath to the body. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Bring the palms to meet, exhale, hands to heart center. The light in me sees and honors the light in you. In honor of all that you are, namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for your practice today in this beautiful lush conservation area um, near my house. I hope that you found a little bit of an opening through the throat, a little bit of opening through the heart, giving you now the opportunity to express yourself freely, speak your truth, uh, find some creativity. If you would like to tap into the energy center that actually relates to the throat chakra, um, try this practice here, this is the hip opening practice, and generally the hip and the heart and the throat go together so this one might be a great one to go through to next keep making magic in your world from your place at your own pace namaste